and welcome back to Inside Action. And today we're talking about safety with uh, none other than the safety guru of the Action Environmental Group, and that's Ken Levine. How you doing, Ken? Good, Eric. Thank you for the compliment. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you. Uh, we've had some fun in the past uh, putting together safety videos for training and so forth. Uh, it, this time we just want to really talk about the integration of different departments and how they lean on one another uh, to keep this whole operation uh, running as smoothly as you keep it going. Uh, how does safety uh, interrelate with, say, customer service uh, or other departments? Well, one thing I'm going to steal a line from our, our CEO, the infamous line is, uh, when does safety stop? And the answer is never. It's uh, constant and it's uh, always with the entire company, everybody. Um, how it impacts customer service, if we're not safe, the job doesn't get done right, people get hurt, customers aren't serviced timely. Um, you know, it just has that ripple effect. Yeah, so you lead, if you lead with safety, then you have a lot less problems downstream, right? Absolutely. Uh, routes get done on time. Uh, the main focus is that, you know, our people are working and that our people are safe and they're not getting hurt. And that's our main objective here. It's safety is the number one priority of everybody, uh, whether it be sales out there looking at a stop and making sure that we can service it properly, customer service, hearing about complaints uh, from a customer about uh, servicing it, us uh, servicing it with the proper equipment. Yeah. Again, the whole thing comes back to keeping everybody safe, that everybody goes home the same way that they came to work. And, and what is the, what's the focus right now in terms of safety? I know you work on different programs throughout the year and modifying them and improving them and so forth. Uh, what's on your mind right now from a safety standpoint? Actually, one of the primary things we just instituted a couple of weeks ago is the Smith System Defensive Driving. Um, our goal is to, and we did this on, a, on our own, and when we presented it to our insurance company, they were very pleased to hear that we were doing that, uh, taking an initiative to do it. Uh, Smith is a recognized defensive driving system out there, and not just in the refuse industry, but in transportation across the board. And one of the things that we decided we were going to do is uh, get people trained, and myself, my two safety managers, and our risk manager are all trained Smith trainers now. So we're out in the field and we instituted that in the past two weeks. As I said, we've trained four drivers so far to you know, be certified in uh, defensive driving. And, and what is that? What's the core of that course? It, it's uh, defensive driving, did you say? That's, that, that's the terminology that they use. It's basically an awareness. It teaches five keys of driving. It doesn't teach a driver how to drive. It just teaches them how to drive safely. And, and to be aware of what's going on and, and just take the, uh, the laid back approach as opposed to getting through the intersection, those type of things? Well, you, you just uh, mentioned something uh, about getting around. One of the things is uh, leave, leaving a cushion, leaving yourself a cushion. Uh, uh, safe driving, getting the big picture, seeing what's ahead of you, looking down the road 15 seconds uh, as a guide to see that big picture, know what your surroundings are, leave yourself and out all the time. Um, we're, we're pleased to do this. Like I said, uh, we've started it. Our goal is to have 80 drivers trained by the end of the year. It's a pretty aggressive uh, goal, but we feel we can do it. It seems like the types of things that you're going after are things that can become habit uh, for employees and drivers, anybody operating uh, equipment, you want to create good habits and that's going to in turn uh, create good numbers and efficiency around the company. I know we didn't discuss it before, but you're talking about uh, you know establishing good habits. Uh, one of the things in the uh, Smith system that you lead with is that it takes 28 days to break a bad habit. So if you don't have a bad habit, start with a good habit, you won't have to waste 28 days. Um, <laughs> You're fixed from the get-go. Yes, yeah. yes, but we're, we're, very, we're very excited about this program because uh, it, also, it also carries out uh, into the personal life of an individual when they're driving uh, in their personal vehicle with their family. So again, you know, safety has no boundaries. It's across, you know, all aspects of our business. It's uh, across all aspects of everyday life. Of course, and uh, there you have it from Ken Levine. If you're interested in the safety program, I'm sure somebody can reach out to you, right, and get the details on that? Maybe. Absolutely, everybody knows they can get a hold of us. There's a safety concern uh, email. Uh, there's my own email that everybody has. They have our phone numbers. Um, I won't give it out in case, you know, there's a stalker out there. Like <laughs> Nikki, I think the paparazzi's outside for Ken over there. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yes, we're, we're, you know, the safety department is available 24 seven, and our goal is to, you know, uh, assist our employees yep. and, and, 
you know, keep everybody safe and, and healthy. Perfect. Thanks a lot, Ken. Appreciate Thanks, the time. And that's one more episode of Inside Action. We'll catch you next time. See you then.